Over 1,000 participants from 40 countries across the world converged at the Kenya School of Monetary Studies for the annual SANCALP Entrepreneurship Summit. The fourth edition of the annual SANCALP Africa Summit aims to bring the entrepreneurs community together to help solve problems facing them through cutting-edge innovation. The SANCALP Forum, an initiative by IntelliCAP Advisory, curates an environment where entrepreneurs and investors will network. The key highlights of the summit are enterprise development support for entrepreneurs to raise investments, exclusive networking opportunities with over 1,000 global leaders, partnership and collaboration with players across the value chain from investors to corporations and governments, and deep sector insights through research and publications. Sankalp has demonstrated the ability to drive action and influence outcomes. I am Nishata and I am the CEO of Italica Advisory. Um, at Italica, we do, you know, what we do is we work extensively with entrepreneurs in helping them, you know, make an impact and also succeed in making, you know, successful business models. So in a sense, what we do as a group is we search, we seed, we support and we scale entrepreneurs. That's really the core of the mission of what the, all the work that we do. And we do it in different formats. We have consulting services, we have some kind of forum, the forum that we are all at. At Sankar Forum, what we specifically do is we we have almost created a collective action platform where we want a lot of stakeholders to come together and have a conversation on you know what is the support that East Africa needs, you know, special development support. And the other win of the other objective that we have is to source entrepreneurs, work with them, and make them investment ready and actually showcase them to a lot of investors and see if we are able to raise capital for them. Uh, so these are, you know, two purposes with which we extensively work. I think uh, we work with entrepreneurs at a very early stage as well. But uh, ideally, it is good if you have a business idea that you have tested with some people already. It's at that stage that we are able to help you better. Um, if you only have an idea that you haven't tested with anyone, then we have other tools for it. We have something called Startup Wheel, which is a virtual incubator platform. That then you can go and validate your idea. But uh, on the investment side, it's easier for us if you already have, you know, a paying customer. At least you have tested and someone is willing to pay for it. You know, so in a sense, you may not have a very robust business model, but you have a little bit of a business model. Um, so what we do is we have an angel network that we run here. So what we ask entrepreneurs is we start taking applications. We take applications throughout the year. So we apply to us, reach out to us, and what we will do is we'll work with you. And depending on the stage that you are at, we will work with you extensively to sort of you know get you ready for an investment where you are at least in front of an investor. I can't guarantee that you will get an investment, but. Our success rate is not bad. We have close to investors already. So we are looking at you know showcasing them to as many investors as possible. So what we do is uh, we have heard from a lot of entrepreneurial pitches. We have met investors. But more importantly, we have been talking about sustainable development goals, which are you know a big part of uh, development agenda now in the world. So we have had a lot of curated conversations around how do we, what does, what do SDGs mean for Africa? And then you know how do we make entrepreneurs respond to those SDGs? And what is a development community? We have 1,000 people here today. All the people who are very interested in sustainable development goals to see how we can drive collective action to actually you know, achieve some of these objectives which are extremely hard to do right now. So those have been some of the highlights. We have extremely diverse and engaged stakeholder group here. So. It's been a lot of exciting conversations on technology, on innovation, on sustainable development, on entrepreneurship, on inclusive development. So that's sort of, you know. When we came to Africa, our idea was to actually see if we can build an entire ecosystem for African entrepreneurs, specifically in East Africa and in Kenya. Into Africa in 2012, our knowledge of Africa was very limited at that point of time. We believed that uh, our understanding of how to build an ecosystem might actually be useful in the context of Africa, where there seems to be an infrastructure present to help entrepreneurs build their business, but there seems to be not enough stories coming out of success. 
So we moved in here to build the ecosystem. Sankal was our first initiative with the idea to actually essentially crowdsource the entrepreneurs, show them off to investors, and build build companies uh, through that process, crowd in other investors, other partners. Uh, last four years, we have uh, rolled out other IntelliCap services, like consulting and support services. So that would allow not only small entrepreneurs, but large corporates to work with the small entrepreneurs. Uh, we are now thinking of launching Avishka, which is uh, our fund business. We make equity investments. One of the things that we have realized over a period of time that uh, the challenge that we see in Africa is while there is a significant capital flowing to slightly larger entrepreneurs, very small entrepreneurs are finding it very difficult, or early stage entrepreneurs are finding it difficult to correct capital, even though they may have great ideas and can build big companies. Uh, Avishkar has actually a long tradition of 16 years of investing in early stage startups, building them and taking them forward. Uh, we believe that kind of thought process might actually be very useful given the context of where Kenya is. Uh, there are challenges that the entrepreneur face in raising early stage capital. Uh, there is also a fairly deep engagement that is needed to make an early stage company go up. So uh, with the launch of Avishka, we might be able to actually address that. Uh, we have another initiative called Tribe, which is already working with very early stage entrepreneurs and trying to crowdsource capital for them. So we are trying to build that entire ecosystem in a fairly short period of time. The Sankal Africa Summit this year has actually been, in my mind, has been a very big success. Uh, we have been able to bring in very different topics and different people. We have actually had a much larger number of entrepreneurs coming from the local continent rather than expats who are working in Africa, which is a big success in our view. Uh, the other big success has been the quality of the people who have uh, congregated, that 40 countries, 1,000 odd people coming from 40 different countries make it quite significant in the sense of diversity as well. Uh, it also actually clearly signifies that Kenya is uh, a very important uh, place for entrepreneurship. Uh, and uh, ultimately what we are trying to see is new kinds of initiative emerge where technology, entrepreneurship, scale and success to make a real impact on the ground is all coming together. So I think these four things uh, essentially I would qualify as the real key success.